Welcome here together from me, Swishbone, once again. Um, as you're aware, I've put up a video recently about uh, glitches in games and that, and I've just been messing around on my consoles. I um, wasn't expecting to vlog anytime soon, but there's been a piece of news on the BBC website that's caught my eye. Google have bought one of the gaming companies who are responsible for making controllers and peripherals. Now, Google, as we all know, are the ones who own Android, which is used as the operating system for the independent games console, the Oya, or Wuya, or however you pronounce it, which, while I've never played one, I have seen on the high street available here in England, about £99, which makes it a hell of a lot cheaper than a lot of the other alternatives for next gen. Yes, it's quite primitive. If you go and watch Dr. Rations, he did a quick actual review of it of quite a while ago. If you've never seen the console before and are interested in it, go check Dr. Rations' channel out, is my advice, um, or any of the other games reviewers have taken a look at it. Um, now, Google. While they have Android, um, they have been rumoured for quite some time to be wanting to enter the games market. Now, why would you buy controls and peripherals if all you've got is smart TV, mobile phones through Nokia, and search engines? Pretty much an open secret now. Uh, part of the reason I think that they've been holding off was because of the oh yeah, with it running on Android, it's one of those where Google will have the chance to be able to look at it and say, is this going to work? as a platform for a games console. Tablets run on Android and prove you can run quite a lot of decent software on it. And of course, tablets have very limited power due to the types of chips and space they have. So with proper chips and proper hardware, you'd expect that Android could be a very, very good rival. Now, if Google enters the console wars, that's going to completely change the market. At the moment, it's all about Xbox One and PS3, really. The Wii U is out there, but many people aren't interested in the Wii U purely because it's not got the third party support and it's also as a console a bit gimmicky the xbox one is trying too hard to go into the future with all its voice commands and this and the hard drives where you need to install games to where you can watch your tv through it and everything else whereas the ps4 has gone for the old-fashioned put a game in and play it approach what will google bring to the table that's the interesting question um, if they bought these peripherals, it sounds to me like they're trying to get this company as their supplier, design a controller completely new, and therefore more than likely a prototype of this console probably exists already. And I wouldn't expect, and I wouldn't be surprised if an actual confirmation comes soon. There's no real buzz news on this um, that I'm aware of. All I know is that they've been rumoured to be working on it for some time, and buying the consoles only reinforces this rumour. Well, not the consoles, buying the controlling company, sorry definitely reinforces the rumour. Um, if they're going to enter the console wars though, they can't afford to be, too, like, be um, too slow on this and get left behind. As the Xbox One and the PS4 get more and more sales, and hardware becomes more familiar to the companies, you'll expect the game graphics, the game quality to improve. You only have to go back to like, the Xbox 360 and launch titles the likes of Sonic 06, comparing it to the, towards the end of its lifespan with some of the games like you know, the Gears of War franchises, Halo 4 and so forth, to show you the vast disparity in quality as it goes over time. Google can't afford to get lost left behind, so they need to act quickly. Um, but I'd expect, if they were going to enter the console wars, it'll be sooner rather than later. Could it be this year, by the Christmas period? Potentially. Um, no reason why they can't, if they've got prototypes and everything working. But to be honest, if I was going to put a date on it, I reckon it'd be next year, sometime around the autumn before the Christmas rush. But, again, a lot of traction could be gained by the Xbox One and the PS4 in that interim time. So it might be to their advantage to try and get it out while they can. And of course, because there's no details of the console, there's no details as if they've got any developers on board for exclusive content, if they've got the support from the big companies like EA, companies of that nature. So all we can do really is wait and see. It's just a quick rumour rumor video here. Well, with this link now being announced, I would expect the XP Google to confirm they're going to be in the gaming more soon. And there is one potential thing here. As Google use Android, which is something that's quite similar to Windows, could we see a real attempt at making servers cross between the PC and console? One of the things that the Xbox One and I haven't got yet, imagine if you could play Battlefield 4, and your mates who got it on PC could join the game. I know it was tried years ago with a horrendous reboot of Shadowrun, but that's because that was more of a poor title of game than anything. Could you imagine if you got the proper modern games and the proper consoles for it, 
if they could actually cross these platforms, online gaming would go stratospheric. And if Google want any edge in the gaming market, if I was working for them, that's what I'd be aiming for. Make it so the PC and console gamers can finally meet and play properly, rather than being divided. That's, I'm Swishbone, and I'll see you all next time.